Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this demo, I am going to demonstrate how to build a Docker image using AWS code build and push that image to the Docker Hub. I have logged into the AWS management console. Let's go to code build. The first step is we need to create a build project. Click create build project. Give a name. Let's give the name as demo build. Description is optional. So then we need to select the source. You have an option to select either Amazon S3, AWS code commit, GitHub, Bitbucket or GitHub Enterprise. Since we have our code in AWS code commit, I'm going to select that as, as my source provider. Select the repository. The next is we need to select the reference type. So either you can give it as a branch, git tag or a commit id if you wanted to run the build for a specific commit id so we'll go with branch select the branch name and aws code build provide lot of manage images to run your build but in the same time if you wanted to run with a custom image you can provide that as well but for this demo purpose we'll use the aws code build provided managed image let's select the operating system runtime standard image will select the latest version environment type is Linux and since we are going to build docker images enable this and we need to create a new service role so we'll use the role name as a default and we are going to use a build spec file which is going to have all the commands which need to be executed as part of the build in this demo we are going to push the docker image to docker hub so we are not going to configure anything in the artifacts and then the cloudwatch log is enabled uh, so we have not enabled S3 logs, but if you want to push the logs to S3, we can enable that. Click create build project. The project is getting created. So the demo build project has been successfully created. Now let's go and review the our build spec file. Select the repository. Select the buildspec.yml file. This is the file which has to be defined for running the build using the AWS code build. So we need to provide the version which the code build uses. And then the env is for environment. So this is an optional thing. So in our case, I have defined set of variables as part of the environment as well as I have specified parameter store because I'm storing the Docker password securely in the systems managers parameter store code build supports multiple phases so i am not using the install phase i am starting with the pre build phase as part of the pre build phase we are going to do a docker login uh, so the reason why we are using doing the pre docker login in the pre build phases because if the credentials are wrong or if we don't have access to do, uh, docker login or docker login fails due to any purpose there is no point in continuing doing the build or the post build if we try to build the image and then do a docker login and push it uh, and the docker login fails obviously the whatever work we have done as part of the build is going to go waste so that's the reason we are doing the login as part of the pre-build then as part of the build we are going to build the image and we are going to tag it because the image has to be pushed to by my docker repository in the docker hub so we need to tag it and the post build we are going to push the images to the docker hub and here you can see we are using the parameter store and the uh, the role which got created as part of the uh, the build project it has access to the code commit but it doesn't have access to the parameter store so let us go to iam and add the permission to get the data from the parameter store click iam click policies select the code build based policy add additional permissions choose the services systems manager then we need just the read permission to get the parameters select that specific resource so we'll select any in this account and then click review policy okay save changes we can clearly see now this policy has permission to get the parameters from the systems manager now let's go back to the code build click the build now let's trigger a build so you'll be able to see the build logs here 
and you will be able to see the face details here here the runtime and the build details you can see in this section you can see here the build has successfully completed so you can see you know it has succeeded in all the stages so that's why we are seeing the status is succeeded you can see the build logs it is using the docker file and it is building the new image and then it is pushing the new image to the docker hub so now let's go and pull the new image which has been pushed to the docker hub and then run that image i'm going to give a name to my container and i'm going to map out run it in the background I'm going to give the image name so the image is not available locally so it is trying to pull so now so the image has been successfully pulled from the docker hub and the container has been launched now let us go and access our application host 49166 is the port number I have given so we can see our application is successfully running in a docker container so we have pulled this image from the docker hub in this demo we have seen how using a code build to build a docker image and push the docker image to the docker hub and pull the image from the docker hub and run it locally thanks for watching the demo